Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the third part in our long play of Oxygen Not Included. So let's just jump in here and take a look at what we've been working on. So this is the beginning of cycle 15. So in their time they've pretty much been going at it for two weeks in game. Um, and I've kind of been looking around before I hit record and the one thing I kind of want to start working on already and it's kind of the main thing that I learned when I first started playing this game is the never-ending battle with temperature so last video I had mentioned that like when we click on mealwood it wants to be between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius so and that's kind of my main source of food until I can get the hydroponic farm up and running with the bristle blossoms so out here like if we hit the temperature if this temperature seeps into the base things will start to die the food will die will die so temperature is kind of my main priority that's why I made insulated tile pretty quickly so this episode I'm going to kind of start working on building my outer walls kind of the main frame of where I want the outline of my base to be outlining it with insulated tile and then what I kind of like I may have to start with some form of uh, like air conditioning but that's kind of inefficient and I had even mentioned um, where are they under here under this the ice maker and ice fan are really really inefficient like if you really are dying and need to cool your crops off fast that might be an answer but there are other ways and I'm going to start working into them in this episode. So let's fire these little guys up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a bit of a buffer around the base. Actually, I could probably put another floor in here, so we'll do that. Always working with insulated tile now, but we could almost go down two floors. Where would my floor actually be? Right here. And so yeah, right here. So this one I would want to be with insulated. I kind of keep my rooms four high for all stuff, so. So let's do that. And we'll get our diggers and other people some stuff to work on here. Sounds like some people are leveling up. So there's a little work for them to do. And then, yeah, around the outside of the base. We'll do, well, I don't want to go near the water yet until I decide where I want to seal my base off. All right, oops, not pause. Let's take a look at what everyone's doing. So last video, my concern was the CO2, and if you take a look, most of it's gone. This thing's done its job, so I can't remember where I saw it, but in some of the tutorial stuff I was watching, things, the heavier gases, sink down and to the right. So in theory, this CO2 over here should start working its way over here and hopefully gets pulled in by this thing, but... As far as we're concerned, that's good for now. So, I'm also gonna upgrade the walls around these things with a little more insulation also. And we're gonna give them a 
little bit better of doors also. Oh. So, all right, research. So now we're going to go down to gases. So I think, so there's our gas reservoir. So here's our thermoregulator. That's our air conditioner. And here's our thermo sensor. So it's pretty much our thermostat that we would set up in a room and then it would dictate when this would run. And then we have all the different piping to kind of set things off. Thermo sensors, element sensors. So we can set up all kinds of cool automation with this stuff. But we're gonna go towards this and start with our more basic air conditioning kind of strategy. I guess I gotta kind of decide what to do with this water because I'm probably gonna build, oops, not that I want to have So I'm probably gonna build up one more floor here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of this water. So we're gonna have to make this reservoir a little bit bigger. So it's gonna suck for our dupes for a little bit. But I think this is going to end up being our final water tank down here. Yeah, I think that's going to be how we do this. Mm, actually, yeah, we're going to have to use... Uh, so we will cancel this and we're going to use insulated on our way down, and we'll figure out where we want to go across. Probably... So another floor would be there, so one, two, three, four, the floor, so maybe here. Call this our base. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. So, a lot of stuff for them to do. Like I said, temperature is a big deal. So we have lots for them to do. Build some ways for them to get around inside here to dig it all out. I think that should be good. Yeah, all right. So let's speed them up. Alright, so they're digging this out, and so the reason I'm kind of creating a buffer is temperature doesn't kind of... An air barrier for temperature I don't think is as bad on the walls as if you have hot, like, rocks and whatever else, like slime, anything, uh, pressing against your walls, so I'm hoping that creates a little bit of a barrier isn't as bad so once I get all the insulated tile in it's not going to be as hot on the base we're researching away we got food our bristle blossoms are coming in nicely so once those mature we'll have those as a even better food source um, once I start digging this out this thing is going to become moderately useless so I may have to move it down a floor or so we'll see but the co2 isn't the problem anymore so but I also have this reservoir full of polluted water so I may have to do something to like build the sieve or something to put it back into as normal water okay so before we grab this guy we have people skilled in most of the jobs already so like supplying, storing. We don't have an operator. That person would be the first one to like jump on the rock crush or stuff like that. Um, tidying. So doctoring is the only one that's kind of I would consider necessary to start creating the cures and just working in the hospital and stuff like that. So, 
also suit wearing, supplying, tidying. So he would just be like a helper. We already have a cook. Cooking isn't a huge deal right now. So we've, it sucks. We have two people with cooking as an option. So not the greatest. A helper for building and supplying wouldn't be bad. So in my opinion, if we wanted a sixth dupe just to kind of speed things up. Well, suit wearing is a big deal too because later on when you wear suits, they move twice as slow if they don't have suit wearing as a interest or ugh, plant murder decreased athletics maybe we don't want anyone in here irritable bowel building so they have building impaired but they like to build so that's almost <laughs> narcolepsy plant murder wow this is a really bad the only thing is he's germ resistant so anemic I don't Hmm. Do we want another guy to help out? We have tons of food. Maybe just to get a body. Suit wearing, supplying, and tidying. Alright, well. We'll grab another dupe just to grab one. So. Supplying. Oops, wrong guy. So there's the things they like. So we'll give them those jobs. I guess we can turn these up. Alright. So things are going along nicely. Oh, I guess I want that dug out also. But I kind of want that wall as a priority, so... We're going to go into our priorities and just make sure that they build the wall before they start digging out in here so water doesn't spill out any further. But we have a lot going on, so... Just kind of, uh, I guess I can tell them to dig all out in here. It's just, I never want to reach a point where I'm trapping someone somewhere and they die. Because <laughs> they require an insane. See, now already, like, this thing's becoming useless because as I dig this out, the water level is going to go down. And now the CO2 is going to sink into here and the skimmer's not going to grab it at all. So. We'll have to figure out, once we have our kind of main area figured out, because even over here I still have lots of room to work with that's like in the good temperature zone. I could build a whole nother like larger side wing that's the 96 space rooms this way, so. Alright, so. We have that for water. Where is... So, I'm going to go to this way, and it's going to go into insulated pipes, liquid reservoirs, and what I'm going to want is radiant pipes later. So, insulated pipes are obvious. Whatever temperature liquid is going through them, it'll maintain that temperature. And radiant pipes will kind of leak the temperature into the environment around it. So, if you've ever lived in maybe an old-school apartment building, that's how the heaters work in those. There's like, it's pretty much like a boiler is pumping hot water through all these pipes through your building. And that's how you're heating the apartment complex. So that's a way you could do cooling here too, right? So you can either run air conditioning, which isn't as efficient in my opinion, or you can run radiant piping. So we'll see how it goes. The only problem with, oh, poor little guy, what's wrong with him? Okay, yeah, let him warm up up there. So, alright, so this is going well. Let's 
So everything's going nicely. Everyone's kind of doing their thing. I guess if I want this to go further, I have to do that. Oh, they did take out one doorway, so we can do that. So, I've put insulated tile here so that the heat from my power plant doesn't leak out. I have a gas reservoir, so now if I really wanted to, I could just, instead of using this, pump gases into a gas reservoir. Because there even, even CO2 there's a use for later in the game. Um, <laughs> there's a machine that makes, like, pop for them, and it's kind of something that cheers them up. But you need to pretty much, it's like a soda stream. <laughs> you need CO2 to blow into it. So we have a thermal regulator. And we have the thermo sensor. So realistically, what we can do, and once we get a little more of this place built, so 24, 25, 25, 25, and 25. So we're not at crisis levels yet, but like in the real world, especially if you live a little closer to the equator, Air conditioners are never inside your house, <laughs> obviously, because they create a ton of heat, and so do these ones. So it's going to look like a lot of places that maybe if you're like, I guess, Arizona, Vegas, stuff like that, they have, or even just a lot of department stores we see, and they have these huge air conditioning units on the roof pumping out heat, and then inside you kind of have all your ventilation systems. So we're probably going to work towards something like that. Uh, so ventilation so yeah here's like you would set up a gas pump somewhere piping and then gas vents out so you would pump it up through the air conditioner to cool it off uh, so this when we look at it so it will dump any air put through it by 14 degrees so that's why you want to set up a thermostat because it'll keep cooling and cooling and cooling and you'll get to a point like how we said this survives between 10 and 30. You don't want to cool the room down to say 8 degrees because then you'll kill the plants again that way. So that's why you really need to get into the automation side of it and somewhere in the building. Or you can have it set up in wings, right? Like however you... Well, maybe not every room, but like in your house, there may be different zones that you have set up with thermostats, and then they will turn on and off according to the temperature of those rooms. So, considering the farming is the only. So, these guys are 5 to 30, these guys are 10 to 30. So, we want to keep the farming rooms at least in that zone. So, that's the plan. Since it creates heat, I'm going to hmm, maybe put it like that. I'm trying to stay away from slime yet because slime will get your guys sick. So all right, so let's build that. everyone else up to. I also want to keep an eye down here because Lord knows I don't want them dying. So, oh, so that's fine. Oh, I'm still... So my research is caught up again. So I have the radium pipe, and so now we can work on some other not as important things. Uh... So we have ranching, farming, we don't need the, that to go on much further. Alternate power supplies, we don't have petroleum, oil refinery, and natural gas. That's way, way later when we get into plastics. Um, the power transformer is not a bad idea, so we might go after that next. And so you'd be able to plop the power transformer down here. And then 
I guess I haven't explained this yet. The small wires, they can handle a load of up to a thousand watts going through them. So right now you can see current load is low, but the potential load is almost 1700 watts. That would start frying the wires and they would burn out. And so if you put a transformer here, it will never allow what's hooked up to these wires to pull more than a thousand. So you'll never have wire burnout. So that may be the next thing. So someone has leveled up. A few have leveled up. Um, da, 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 da. We're just going to max him out on cooking for now. And then later on he can decide what he wants to do. Hassan. Oh yeah, our new person. So... Supplying, tidying, they really... Hmm. Suit wearing isn't going to be a thing yet, so we're just going to get you to be a little tidy up person. So maybe... I think they said I was going to put the ranch here? Or do I want the ranch here? Maybe we'll put the ranch down here. All right, so we have radium pipe, but that will be a way later thing. Conduction panel's new. I'm going to have to look into what that does. That's been added recently by the devs. Um, liquid tepidizer. This is kind of the thing you plop down into water to heat water up. Like if I needed my water to be at 30 degrees for some plant that requires warmer water, you would dump this in, and it's just a water heater. And like I said... This is a water cooler. So now we have the ability to air condition, cool water, heat water. So once this is dug out, though, we're going to work on air conditioning and then work our way up to the radiant pipe system later. So I'm probably going to have maybe one air conditioner per zone below it. And we'll see how that works. And maybe set the thermostat to, well, heat rises, so maybe by the top room on each one. I was going to say maybe the centralized, or even by the farm rooms, because that would be the ones that matter most, right? I don't know if I want the whole building under air conditioning yet or not. Uh-oh. Oh no, I do have enough beds for everyone, but I will add... And I do have an update. Everyone's leaving their pickles laying around. Alright, so... Alright, so we have another bed in case a doctor does pop up. So we're going to keep just working away on this. Uh, we are going to put our air conditioner up here. It is going to need power, soap, do that. I may need a bit more. I may need a bit more of that if I'm going to automate it. If we're going to be working on air conditioning, we are going to want airflow tiles throughout the building, just so that everything kind of circulates nicely. not good. So, nuts. I'm going to get him or them to fill this back in. Push the water this way, then build this wall. That's my bad. We almost had a... This is why you have to keep your eye on them. <laughs> um, Alright, we're going, we're going. Alright, so... Thermo sensor. So... 
we're gonna put this somewhere inside the base. We're gonna build automation towards it. Does it need power? Oh, it doesn't. All right. So now we have to kind of plan where we want things to be going. So we need to pull air into this thing, and then we need to decide where um, we want to have the cold air flowing out into the building. So there's not, I don't know, we could just pull from beside it, but then you're pulling in the hot air that this thing is pumping out, right? So, we want to build the gas pump somewhere. We don't want it grabbing the initial cold air. So, we may want to go down to one of the lower floors. Maybe even right here. Yeah, because it would pull if the air's too warm in the farm. That might work. All right, so let's do that. And then we're gonna run. Once again, keeping things out of sight inside the base. In. And then. Well, where do I want it coming out? Maybe. Hmm. Now I gotta think. Maybe here. And here. Yeah, that's not bad. So now I gotta kinda plan my way into here. Hmm. This is going to be a little convoluted, I guess. Should have planned this out a little bit better. But it's outside the base, so you can make things <laughs> a little uglier. Alright. So there is my starter. Oh, I gotta power up. Uh oh, who peed and who's trapped? So now, are they trapped? Alright, so someone's in danger, so we are going to... Hmm. Let's deconstruct that one tile. Oh no, I have no idea why he peed himself. <laughs> oh. They're both trapped. Alright, so... We have learned our first lesson of them literally taking orders. There we go. Uh, and now he's trapped again, so. All right, so there is our first lesson in don't just plan stuff out and walk away from them because they worked their way over here and had no way back. 
so then when it was bathroom time, they pissed all over the place. <laughs> I think I cleaned up all the dirty water. All right. Crisis averted. Everyone has had their bathroom breaks. All right, so already I've been ignoring this. We have a doctor. I think I said that was the last thing I really needed, so decrease science, don't care. Decorator, he comes with hard digging already, so super helpful. So Amari is our doctor. And we're gonna research. Um, we're gonna get into some decorating. We're gonna make the place look a little nicer. I forgot to give them. You are going to be our doctor. So now, one of these rooms that I've cleaned up can be a hospital and kind of a whole medical facility in general. Maybe this. They have a ton to do, so I'm not really going to assign them much more new stuff. Oh, I need to... Amari was a doctor, but what else did they like? Doctor and suit wearing, so they're just the doctor. All right, so we have one of everything. Oh, someone's stressed. That might be the guys that got trapped. We're just gonna see. A tiny bit of stress. We're not gonna worry about. You can build little things like massage parlors and stuff like that if you really get concerned about it. But. So we've researched some decorative stuff, so even something as simple as like putting like corner molding in rooms will cheer them up. Like, it's funny, every little aesthetic bit matters and cheers them up. But I don't want to get too far into that because... Alright, so... Research is coming along quickly, so... I may just want to... So these are a little bit better, like high pressure vents and stuff like that. Gas shut off, I can show later. You would use this for sorting out... If you have a room full of like three or four different gases. Actually... We're gonna build some bathrooms in a bit. So, like, I added this corner molding. So now, if you go on decor, green is good, red is bad for kind of what makes them happy, right? So, like, any source of light makes them happy. Anything decorative will make them happy, right? So, light, happy. So when you look at my base as a whole, not a lot to be happy about. It's, I guess in a word, ugly. <laughs> so... All right, so. So send a green signal if the temperature is above. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's try and keep the room under 25. 
So yeah. So send a green signal. That means to turn this on if the temperature is above 25. So I think I have everything. That's hooked up. I may. Hmm. Why are you not? Oh, I'm done. This has to be up and running oh, and power to it. So, um, so. Actually, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the sensor. This maybe should have been hooked up to this. I can't remember. I haven't built one of these in a while. We'll figure it out. Because this may be con. Well, no. I can always have this recycling air, like, constantly. We can start researching just stuff in general. So let's go up. And the food aisle, no, so we can just start researching general stuff. So we need. Oh, gotta kind of dig this room out before I can build these pipes. So. We're going to slightly prioritize just finishing everything in that wall. And then hopefully we're going to do one more day to get this week over with for them. is oh, someone sick food poisoning all right so we may have to start building our hospital so what do we want in our hospital let's have you have to wash your hands on the way in we need to have triage cart since people will be on lockdown, they will need. Oh, we'll move this here. I know that they need. You have to think of everything they need when they're kind of like on lockdown. Oh, oh. So. Q feed and Y. Someone trapped? I don't see someone trapped. What did I get? I should have paid attention. Alright. Air conditioning's on. So now... We're gonna have to deal with the stinky water. Um, so now... This thing's flying away. So, if we look... So we can read it. So the gas pipe has 28 degree, if you see in the bottom block. It's 27.9, 28 degree air coming into it. And it's pumping out what should be colder air. Now, the strain on the power grid is going to be huge. So now, and that's almost out of coal. So 
so we may either A, have to make an external power station for all the things that are going to run out here, which isn't a bad idea. Because then things outside the building will have their own power grid and everything on the inside of the building would have a power grid, so... Okay, they're building the barrier around here. Alright, so there we go. Someone popped up the coal, so we're going to get this rolling. Power, like I had mentioned. So we got a few things. So the one thing I'm going to build is. Nope, like this. Is the transformer. So what we're going to do with that is. We're going to do that. And we're going to snip this one wire. All right, so now I've kind of cut power to the building for a second, which isn't exactly the greatest thing. So now we're gonna have priority nine all of this stuff. Just get it built. All right, so so now. right? Maybe I don't. No, I'm not. So I want this feeding into the battery. I'm not thinking this through properly. Alright, so now we're going to slow things down. We're going to go to the power grid. So we want all power coming out of this, so we have to snip this wire. Oops, I'll speed them up a little bit. There it is, everybody. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's take a look at our power grid again. So now, the generator is feeding into the battery, which is feeding into the transformer, nothing else. So now, I guess I can reconnect those. So now, the way it works is, when it says potential load 1810, the transformer is going to keep it that it never draws more than a thousand. So some things may turn on and turn off, but you're never going to have your wires in the building fry out. So that's kind of the priority. So I'm going to have to work on a second power source because whenever this flash is yellow and red, that means that there's a sub substantial drain on the system, right? Like my battery's not even able to keep up. So we're going to have to come up with a second power source of some kind, somewhere. So actually, I may move the rock crusher out of the building for now. Yeah, and have a two system set up in here. Anyways, that can be for the next day. This day is about to end, so we're going to slow them down. So, the one nice thing is the oxygen in here. Yeah, the batteries aren't even getting a feed. So, we're pulling power faster than the battery can even fill up. So, that's not the greatest thing. These things take a huge amount. So this, I believe, we 
does it do its own thing? Maybe it does. It's been so long since I've used one of these. I apologize. So maybe I don't need this. So we're going to turn this thing off. But anyways, it is. <laughs> I like how I have to relearn some of this. Yeah, it looks like it's doing its thing. On its own. So I may have made a convoluted system for no reason. <laughs> Anywho, I'm remembering. So, there we go. So that has been a whole nother week for them. I'm going to have to build this lower now that they have this all made nicely. This is sealed off, so I'm going to have to build a wall up here and then maybe make another way in to this wing of the building. Um, that can be next time. I can put the pitcher... Well, I'm going to dump this water down, so we're going to build a wall here, but that can be for next time. Uh, we had a few accidents. Holy crap. Our dude grew up. Our little pokey shell. But things are looking good. I'm happy with it. I'm going to have to relearn how this thing works. Maybe it is on its own. I couldn't remember if you had to pump air through it. Which, whatever, I'll get the materials back. You don't lose materials when you build and tear down things. Um, but yeah, right on. Thanks for tuning in, as always. If you like what I'm doing and like the story of me torturing these poor little dudes. Um, like, subscribe, subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Thanks.